Good morning. I'm filming my... <laughs> I don't usually film this early. Um, I'm filming my morning routine this morning. Um, and we are headed to a early morning cold water swim. And we're bringing our dogs to the dog park very, very early to try to avoid other dogs because of the illness that's going around our state with puppies. Uh, so we're getting up super early. It's about 6 a.m. and we're headed to do two fun things outside before a day in the studio. When I'm brushing my teeth, um, I have a vision board with my word of the year deep on it. Um, I have a couple little things that remind me of myself and then I always uh, pull a card and today's card is, and I think this is the universe has your back deck. Um, my energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Ooh, good one. Um, and then I slide them in here. Um, and I'm always through the day. Um, yeah, it's going to be an incredible day. So usually I leave all my stuff packed for swimming, but with teaching every Tuesday this year, I have to like kind of repack it the day, the first day swimming after. So I am in the midst of that. Uh, you need neoprene, uh, booties and gloves, uh, hot water for after, and a towel. So that's what I'm looking for. And I'm just putting it together. I would film more, but it is just still night out because we're trying to get to the dog park. Okay, heading out. Um, I've got neoprene. I've got clothes for after. I need slippers. Um, but I've got everything else I need um, to get out the door, including a treat bag. And there are two puppies in there. You can only see a puppy butt, but you can't even see anything. So we are headed out and they're going to have a good morning. One of the best things about having a uh, new driver or a, a learning driver in the house is they bump your gas. So that's Dobby Doo and there's Tookers. And we're gonna head over to the dog park because of just what's going on in the world right now. Um, but I um, am so trying to figure out like how to explain why this makes sense in a creative video. So I do some creative morning habits, especially on non-swim days, but um, getting out and moving my body first thing in the morning outside at sunrise um, and especially going in the cold water is such part of my creative practice because it feeds me and connects me to, to my story. Um, what I love about Gosh, what I really, really love about our um, cold water swimming practice is that you can't have your phone, you can't have distractions, you have to stay so focused in the moment that it's like the world opens up for a bit. It's like super, super deep meditation and embodied meditation. Hi, buddy. You're okay. Um, my big dog does not like the other dog. <laughs> So going to the cold water in the morning is part of my creative practice because it centers me for the day. And I know today's a studio day, so having a full, like, embodied meditative experience first thing in the morning is just going to fuel me. And it also will wake me up. <laughs> suit on and a Santa outfit because why not vlogmas I think that vlogging is just like making silliness of yourself in public but I have my neoprene boots on which I are there and then I have neoprene gloves and we just wear swimsuits so uh, it's a little windy today it'll be a tough swim but it'll be fun I'm post swim oh it's 
so good. Uh, I didn't get pictures because it was really, really wavy and I don't have a GoPro, um, but it was delightful. We spent 22 minutes in 52-ish degree water for in uh, the Salish Sea in Puget Sound. And we, uh, I think it maybe was the waviest swim we've had this year so far. So it's super wavy. I'm just looking at how wavy it is. Um, it was super wavy, king tide. So the tide was very, very high and it was absolutely lovely. Lovely. I went with my friend um, Jody, and we had just incredible discussion. We say that we go to the water and we have deep connected conversation or absolute hilarity. There's very little in between, um, but it's it's wonderful and I'm so thankful to have not only her in my life but also have this practice that just binds us and and gives us time together to move our body in a really interesting way uh first thing in the morning you can hear that little bit of because <laughs> it, uh, it is definitely chilly but I hope you have a wonderful day so my um I will work on rewarming driving home heats on high and I'll sit down and do some journaling next. Okay, I'm back home from the swim. Uh, I changed clothes and I'm uh, sitting down to do some journaling. And um, I call this my book of moons. Um, this is a gray vision board, a vision board just with all gray tones. I picked a, a color, I did a color class, and they said uh, you had to pick a color, and I, um, I'm often drawn to super, super, super colorful pieces, but this, but I never ever worked on my neutrals, so this was an attempt to work on grace. Um, my favorite part of this collage is this is an actual feather um, that I picked up on the walk on the day I was doing this collage and I took a rolling pin and rolled it out so that the I broke the quill so it would uh, lay flat um, so I always do a really fun first page and I try to sit and read it meditatively before I go in to do my journal. So this is from Victoria Erickson's book, The Edge of Wonder, which if you're on um, Pinterest at all, she has a lot of quotes on Pinterest, but I actually uh, bought her book last Christmas and have just enjoyed it so much. Good morning. I hope you find today to be extraordinary. Are you in love with the whole damn world? You should be. It is glorious. I can't see a better way to experience life than being madly in love with everything. Whew. So good. And this is a piece of art I did earlier this year. I call it my pride potato. Is potato. Uh, so I'll, I'll do some sketch noting and some writing in my journal. Um, every day I try to do um, some gratitude, a do list, something to, to get done that day. And then uh, I like to ask myself, or I actually like to ask the universe, dear universe, what would you have me know today? And I, I journal that answer. So I'm going to do some journaling.